You're looking at the gas law questions from the short answer parts of the 2015 regions exams. I only found two questions that relate directly to gas laws, and here they are. All right, so here, again, in question one, there's information here at the top in this picture of this movable piston and oxygen gas being inside of the container. So for number one, it says determine the new pressure of the oxygen in the cylinder and atmospheres. Okay, so this is a calculation, and I need the information up at the top. So since I'm dealing with calculating a new pressure, and I read and I need, I have one cylinder of oxygen gas at STP, and it's pushed down at constant temp, and I have a new volume. All right, so... I'm dealing with a calculation. I'm going to go to reference table T, and there it is, the combined gas law equation. So I'm going to go back and write it down. My suggestion, anytime you're dealing with a calculation on the test, multiple choice or short answer, write the equation down, plug your numbers in. In this case, we're actually calculating the answer. So let's check it out. Constant temp, I cancel my temperatures, my initial pressure, I'm at STP. So I go to the front of the reference table, table A, and there's standard pressure. And I need atmospheres because I'm told I want my new pressure in atmospheres. So I'm dealing with 1 atm, and my starting volume was 1 liter. On the other side, I'm looking for the new pressure or P2 and the new volume was 0.5 liters. That's supposed to be a 5, sorry. Okay, I gotta solve for P2. Plug it in the calculator. If you think the answer is 0.5 atm, you're wrong. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 is equal to P2 times 0.5. I gotta divide both sides by 0.5 and 1 divided by 0.5 is 2 atmospheres. So the answer is 2 atm. Any calculations for this test, use your calculator, write it down first. It's very important you follow those steps. This way you won't make a simple, simple mistake. All right, let's move on to number two. In number two, you're asked to determine the vapor pressure for ethanol at 90. Well, for vapor pressure, we have a vapor pressure diagram, meaning a reference table. And here it is, reference table H. We're dealing with ethanol. We're looking at vapor pressure for ethanol at 90 degrees. For temperature here, each one of these lines represents 5 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to find my 90 degree line. I'm just counting by 5. So after 75, there's 80, 85, and 90. I'm going to go up. I hit the ethanol line. And I'm going to go, oops, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go over. Didn't do such a great job here. Sorry about that. And the answer is 150 kPa, or at least what I think. Mark up the reference tables. That's another really, really important thing that you should be doing. These reference tables are for you to use for this test. Don't worry about making a mess. It is your test and your reference tables to do the best you can with. And in fact, the answer... Usually, for these types of graphs, they give you a range. So the range was from 148 to 152. To me, it looks like 150, and that's what I would have put for the answer. 150 kPa. Keep practicing questions and going over information, and good luck.